Hey guys, so for today's movie review, I'm going to talk about the film Crumb. It is a documentary about the, um, kind of about the life of Bob Crumb. Uh, for those who don't know who that is, he was kind of this, um, he was like a famous pen and ink illustration, uh, pen, and, pen and ink illustrator. Um, he's worked with people like Harvey Bacar for the American Splendor comics. He, um, he's most well known for doing a, um, illustrative banner called Keep On Trucking. Uh, it has people kind of walking along like this and stuff on that. Um, so yeah, they, this is a documentary of Bob Crumb. Uh, so it's not really a biopic like American Splendor was for Harvey Bacar. Uh, funny thing about that movie too is that movie actually, uh, mentioned the fact that Bob Crumb had his own movie at, at one point in American Splendor since uh, Bob Crumb was a supporting character throughout American Splendor. Um, he helped illustrate Harvey Bacar's comics for the American Splendor stuff. So that's kind of how I was introduced to Bob Crumb in a way. It was through that movie and how, um, you know, going to the American Splendor comics myself and reading those, kind of seeing, you know, in the earlier comics where Bob Crumb was the actual illustrator for Harvey's stories for those. Um, but this film, we get to see Bob Crumb's personal life. We get to see, um, you know, some, uh, you know, stuff that he is both ashamed of and things that, you know, he's proud of. Um, you kind of, you get to see his side of things as far as, you know, the, the, the illustration stuff that he's both happy and not so happy about. Um, so yeah, it goes definitely to like the very private part of his life, you know, the, the, the sexual part, the, um, you know, kind of his weird fascination with things and kind of how he comes up with these really bizarre ideas and puts them to his illustrations, um, we get to see like his brothers in here. We get to th they talk about like their family life in here too. So basically, this film is all about us, the viewer, getting to know Bob Crumb some more and his personal view on things. Um, so for the positives and negatives, you guys, I think the film does depict the genius and creepiness of of Bob Crumb very well. Uh, a lot of aspects about this film that I wasn't quite aware of before watching it. Um, like I said, I knew a little bit about Bob Crumb through just some things I read about online, some video interviews with him, um, and specifically through American Splendor on the scenes that he was involved with, with um, getting Harvey Bacar's uh, American Splendor comics up and going. Um, but I didn't know he had so many creepy aspects about him. Like, um, you know, he would talk about, you know, his, his secret masturbation stuff that he has and, um, you know, how he kind of... Uh, you know, uh, you know, makes women's breasts look bigger in his comics and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the film definitely shows you creepy aspects of Bob Crumb that you would have never expected before before watching the movie. Um, but he was he was very ingenious with a lot of his stuff. I mean, he definitely um, you know had some very unique, bizarre ideas to put onto paper that later went into comic books and illustration. Uh, that I think are really quite brilliant in some cases. Um, the film shows the personal and family side of Bob Crumb. I thought that was interesting. <clears throat> really didn't get to see a lot of that part of Bob Crumb in uh, previous stuff I've seen of him. Um, so it's nice that there's a documentary film um, out there about you know the, kind of the personal and family side of Bob Crumb. I thought that was interesting. Um, you get to follow him around throughout the, his throughout his normal day uh, around the time the film was made, which was back when he lived in the U.S., since I think he lives in France still. And he, he moves to France near the end of the movie. Um, so I think he is still there from what I'm aware of. Uh, but we get to see kind of his routines that he had in the U.S. here, kind of how he would just sit outside, look around, and um, illustrate basically what he's looking at and add his own special touch on that. Um the film also shows some rare material that he came up with. There was, um, yeah, there was like some things that he worked on before he became famous that we got to see that we didn't get to see before. Uh, you know, kind of his own viewpoint on some stuff that he's worked on for comics. Um, some things that never quite made it to the press. You know, like there weren't multiple versions printed of those things. We get to see those in here. So I thought the fact that we got to see some rare material from Bob Crumb in here was pretty awesome about the movie. Um, for negatives, I do think, uh, you do have to be open to weird human rituals to really 
you know, get into this movie just because some of the things that Bob Crumb does and some of the people that he knows does, like his brothers and some of the ex-wives and ex-girlfriends that he had, they had some really weird rituals in this film. I think his brother alone had to sit on like a floor of nails or something to get rid of an intense intestinal problem he's been having. And um, the film also gets very off topic at times. This happens a lot when Bob Crumb's interviewing like family members of his uh, it just gets really off topic. There's some scenes in here that just go on for way too long. Um, they almost could have cut, I think, at least a good four to seven minutes on some of the interviews with the family members just because they, they stay on topic for the, a good five to ten minutes, maybe, of um, if, if it even went for that long, of, you know, the things that, you know, the reason why they're in this movie to begin with. But then they just get on off topic about things they find in the yard and things that the neighbors were doing. And it's just like, uh, whoever edited this movie, you really got to know how to find what's the main focus here and just focus on that. Um, so that really wasn't Bob Crump's fault. That was just more so the editing problem, the editor's fault of not cutting it sooner than it should have happened. Just stay on topic of what's actually going on in the movie. Um I also feel the film gets too illustration heavy after a while. I understand Bob Crumb's the illustrator. You know, he's molded him for his pen and ink illustrations. You know, Fritz the Cat, Mr. Natural, working on American Splendor with Harvey Picard. Um, but after a while, the film almost becomes like an illustration slideshow, I think. Uh, just because they have so many illustration stuff from Bob Crumb that they want to show us. My problem with that is if we really just wanted to see the work of Bob Crumb, we could, you know, I'm sure this film came out at a time where the internet wasn't very big for most people, um, if the internet wasn't even around at all. Um, but if we really wanted to see the work of Bob Crumb, we could have gone onto the internet or just looked at some comics he's worked on, you know, and things of that nature. And I, I really think that, I don't know, it feels sometimes like this film isn't aware that, you know, it, it should be about, you know, Bob Crumb himself. Because after a while, it feels like they're just showing us a bunch of illustrations either because they don't have enough content, the film would have been too short, or, um, I don't know, maybe they just didn't have enough going for it, so they just threw in a bunch of illustration stuff he worked on. Uh, like I said, it's fine that they had it, uh, maybe do it once or twice, but the film got to the point where, like, almost every other scene, there was another slideshow that happened. It happened a good four or five times, I would say, um... So it just got a little illustration heavy after a while, and I just really wish that they could have focused more on maybe on Bob Crumb, maybe focus on an aspect to him that they didn't cover in here. Um, you know, something along that line. Um, also, make sure you know a little bit about Bob Crumb before watching this. If this is your very first exposure to Bob Crumb, you don't know anything about his illustrations, you don't know anything about him personally, uh, I don't think this film's the perfect place to start, to tell you the truth. Um, I would definitely watch American Splendor first. Uh, I, you, I would recommend doing what I did and watch maybe some interviews online of him. Um, you know, there's plenty of videos out there with him telling people not to watch the Fritz the Cats movie just because uh, it was very much not something he wanted to be a part of. He didn't want it to happen. He even briefly talks about it here in the movie. Um, he even said himself to, to people publicly that he kind of disappeared for a while intentionally just because of that movie. Um... See, so yeah, I, I definitely, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say I, I have disrespect for him now, but what I'm saying is this film is very much on a perverted level at, at, later on in the movie, especially when we see some stuff from him that is very much going as overboard with the content. Um, like I said, so I would definitely check out American Splendor first, maybe do some research on Bob Crumb first, and then sit down and watch the movie just to kind of finalize your Bob Crumb knowledge, I guess. Uh, so this isn't the perfect place to start, I don't think. Like I said, make sure you know a little bit about Bob Crumb before watching this movie. Uh, so for Bob Cr uh, for Crumb, I should say, like I said, just called Crumb, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it is a good documentary. I think it's a good film overall. Uh, but there's just small things like getting off topic, uh, making too many illustration-heavy scenes after a while. Um so some really weird human rituals that I still don't understand after watching the movie. And I think a lot of people are going to be turned off by it, to tell you the truth. Um, and like I said, make sure you research Bob Crumb a little bit before watching this movie, just because 
Uh, this will be an even more awkward experience for you if this is your first exposure to Bob Crumb. Uh, so Bob Crumb, you guys, or it's just called Crumb, I'm sorry. So Crumb, like I said, 8.5 out of 10 for me. A good film. I wouldn't say a great film. Um, you know, it's worth one view. Uh, but if you really want to see a good, like, just depiction of Bob Crumb in general, I would definitely recommend the, the biopic film just called American Splendor.